Hi everyone, this is Zara from Baby Waishi and welcome to the fourth and final segment on the Pacifier series. I finally managed to wean my daughter off the pacifier around two months back. That's when she was 18 months old and thought it, that, you know, every parent should know uh, or have some guidelines on how to wean their child off the pacifier. You go online and there are plenty of tips on how to wean your baby off uh, your breast, off finger sucking and all of that. But there are very few uh, guidelines on how to wean them off a pacifier. So this is for all of you moms. First off, how did I decide that this was the right time to wean my daughter off the pacifier? About six or seven months back, I happened to, you know, uh, put up a post on a portal on FB, on a group in FB, uh, wherein I asked when the right time was to do this. And a lot of moms said that, you know, the later the better because they understand more and it's easier to tell them that, you know, the pacifier is a bad thing or, you know, your pacifier just uh, died and has to be buried and all that sort of thing. So, um, it becomes easier then and at that point actually I did decide that I would wean my daughter off the pacifier only when she completed two years but what happened was that uh, I enrolled her in play school and daycare when she was around 17 months and within a week or so what I realized was that uh, you know the kids in class would just take her pacifier and throw it here and there and that became a point of concern for me uh, the reason being that uh, you know she, although at that time I have to mention that she would take the pacifier only when she was extremely agitated or when she was very sleepy, uh, not otherwise. But even then the fact that you know other kids would come and they would be really curious, can't blame them. They used to be really curious, come take the pacifier from her mouth and you know it would just inevitably fall or some kid would take it into their mouth. And uh, you know even though the uh, teachers they are really vigilant about it, there's always this little doubt in the back of my mind that what if by mistake someone doesn't sterilize it or what if you know my daughter just takes that from the floor and puts it back in her mouth and that would just be uh, you know an invitation to infections. So that's when I realized that I should probably wean her off. So here are some points which I thought would be really important that all of you should keep in mind while uh, starting to wean your child off the pacifier. Guys, you really have to be ready for a lot of crying and rona dhona. Um, initially, when she was around 15 months, I think before that, uh, from when she was around 11 months to 15 months, she got really addicted to the pacifiers and she would want it even when she was not sleepy or even when she wasn't really too agitated. She would just want it in her mouth because probably because she was teething and it would uh, help soothe her gums. So she would want the pacifier then. Uh, so what I started to do was limit it to only sleeping time. When she would be sleepy, she, she had to come and tell me that she wanted her binky and I would give it to her. Uh, but yes, initially to get her used to that was very difficult. She would cry like crazy and you know, it, it takes a little time. The first two days was a lot of crying. Then afterwards you realize what can be used to divert her. Like she had her little scooter. Uh, I would I would seat her on that or I would show her a bird somewhere or show her a wind chime. So what it matters that you just try to distract them from all the crying and all that agitation. And of course, it goes without saying, keep the pacifiers away uh, from their uh, vision. It, should, it shouldn't be visible to them. You need to invest a lot of time, guys. No doubt about that. Because what happens is that your style starts crying. And if you're not in that frame of mind, or if you're not ready for it, and if you are not patient enough, you will start screaming at your child or just get fed up and give the pacifier back to your child to just stop them from crying. But that is not the way. It will get you nowhere, literally. You have to control yourself and you have to invest time in... So what I'm trying to say is that you definitely need to invest time when you decide to uh, wean your child off the pacifier and no one else can do it for you. Even if you have your child at the daycare, uh, they are likely to you know, get fed up and give your child the pacifier. So uh, the only one who can do it properly is you yourself. So uh, take out time to do it guys, seriously. This is probably one of the funniest and probably the most improbable things that will happen. Um, uh, if you're in a joint family, what happens is that 
like we'll have a lot of people a lot of elders who would say uh, why are you doing this let your child continue we will see about the weaning part later don't let her cry in my case even though i am in a nuclear family i stay only with my husband at home the issue was that my husband was really is really really attached to her so he can't see her cry at all the minute i um, i started weaning and weaning she means she would feel sleepy and start crying for her binky uh, my husband would be like why are you letting her cry bas bichari ko de do just give it to her and uh, it it took it takes a lot of strength to say no so at the end of the day what i had to do was tell him that you know you stay in the hall let me stay in the bedroom with her and i will handle it so uh, yeah it is funny but it has to happen it's just a part of the process it you at least one of you have to be completely strong willed and very strong hearted about it because uh, hearing to your child cry is not simple it it just breaks your heart and to have to continue to do that for more than a day or two is further more heartbreaking so be strong and it will happen yes be firm be firm with your child is what i want to say a lot of the times you know my daughter would give this little bichari face and be like mama basi a mama chew which is what she used to call her basify she would call it the chew so she used to have this little baby bichari face and uh, make that face and ask me for her pacifier and i would you no know, it was like 40% of the time i was this close to giving in and giving it to her but then you know i would just remember that okay if not now then later i will only have to win her of the pacifier and the more i wait the probably you know it's going to be tougher for me so just be firm and um, and just you know stick to your uh, to your to what you say to what you think and if you have to if, if you've decided to wean your child off the pacifier just do it be firm uh, right now you may think that oh my god it's two days but think think of the future it's going to be months and years of no pacifier at all so that that that, that imagining that is way better another thing that you have to decide is whether to wean gradually or just go cold turkey straight off Uh, what I'm talking about is that uh, sometimes you may also choose to do a combination, like I did. What I did was that when she was 15 months old, I knew I was going to enroll her in a play school when she was 17 months. So it, uh, what I did was that I started then limiting the usage of the pacifier to only uh, nap times. At that point in time, she used to have two naps a day and then uh, her nighttime sleep. So I used to give it to her only when she was sleepy. uh those so about that would be around uh, three times uh, in 24 hours uh but after uh, after she started school her nap time reduced to uh, just one nap a day so automatically that reduced it became uh, the usage became two times a day and uh, when i started to wean her off what i thought was that initially i thought i will not give her the pacifier in school in school let her just sleep she'll be very tired so let her just sleep off and uh, at home at night i will give it to her so that's what i tried and it did and i did succeed for a couple of days but uh, what i realized was that since i was still giving it to her once a day at night she could remember it it was there in her head that my binky is there somewhere so she would still ask her teachers or ask me at home again and again for her binky so what i realized was that at that point in time i thought it's the best time to just go to a cold turkey so i just to call her pacifiers and hit them somewhere and told her it was just not there and i stopped giving it to her totally even at night or even in school uh, i used to keep a pacifier in her uh, in her play school bag for you know sos basis but uh, i just stopped doing that as well i stopped sending it so it took around 2 or 3 days for her to realize that the pacifier was not there and about 2 weeks for her to completely forget that it even existed it gives me great pride to say that you know my house is pacifier free my daughter is not dependent on a pacifier to sleep any longer and best of all is that i am not dependent on the pacifier at all previously i used to feel so panicky if i didn't have a pacifier with me i used to feel like i couldn't handle my child if she had to cry or get agitated but uh, now it's it's this feeling of sheer freedom and there is nothing like it so you know if if you're going for a pacifier go in for it and uh, if you're planning on weaning your child off it you know there are many ways to do it this is just one of them that i have talked about right now there these are just a couple of guidelines for you so you know just just do it just don't think about it just be firm be strong and you can do it
hope you've liked this video and please do hit the like button if you have and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already until next time see you